All right, the next big choice in choosing the tools for your toolkit is air drill or not air drill. So we have two air drills here. One is the Sioux Palm Drill, um, which we've been selling for over 25 years. I used to tell people it is the best quality drill I've ever had in my hand, and I can't say that anymore. Sioux has been purchased by Snap-on, and Snap-on has just kept reducing the quality to um, increase the profits, and I just, uh, it's, it's not the best tool that I've ever had in my hand anymore. Um, the Pan American drill, which is ironically a clone of the original Sioux, um, just is smoother, uh, it's quieter, and it's cheaper. So uh, for an air drill, this is the one I'm recommending now, which is the Pan American palm drill. But there's a third option, and that's no drill at all. Um, the elect cordless and electric drills have gotten so good. Um, the lithium ion batteries now last longer, they're lighter. Um, they don't have the charging problems as NICADs. And then the kits have changed as well. So we've been um, including number 30 and 40 reamers in our um, builder's kits for years, probably more than a decade now. And that's because the reamer is really the right tool to enlarge a hole in thin material, or in any material, but in thin material especially, where you get the triangular tear out from a drill bit. So the, the reamers are designed to run slow, where historically when you're drilling a hole from scratch, you want to, you want to uh, use a drill bit and turn it really fast in thin, soft material. So that's why the air drills were so much better. Now with all the computer pre-punch stuff, you're either not drilling it at all because they're punched to size, some of them, or you're just taking a few thousandths of an inch out of the hole, which is really the best job for a reamer. Again, reamers run slower, so you can put them in a cordless electric drill. So for speeds, we're talking about 6,000 RPM, 4,000 RPM, or 12 to 1,500 RPM in an, in an electric drill. However, um, with the reamers having four flutes instead of two, that effectively doubles your surface um, speed, and um, the electric drills are getting faster and faster all the time. So I don't have one here on purpose. That's because there's so many different varieties out there and they're changing all the time. So I use one that is about 2000 RPM. I think it's slightly less than that and it works great with a reamer. Just hold the trigger down and go from uh, hole to hole. So I've been recommending to new builders that they just start out with whatever they have for a drill. Um, but look for, uh, you, you don't want a 20 volt or a 24 volt or even an 18 volt. Look for something that's that's um, fast but low power. Um, so the stuff that I use is 12 volt um, and I have a couple different varieties like I said anywhere from 12 or 1500 up to I think the fastest one is 1850 or so and that's plenty fast enough for just taking that seven thousandths of an inch out of each hole. So again your choice is between starting with an electric drill and moving to an air drill if you want right away or starting with an air drill but it's, it's really not as needed as it used to be, and you can definitely build an airplane without the air drill, save a couple hundred dollars. So while I'm standing here, I'm gonna plug these both in so you can hear them. Um, so this, is, again, is the Pan American drill. Um, one thing you wanna make sure in any drill is that it's very featherable. You wanna be able to start it out real slow, especially when you're drilling rivets out um, so that you can get started right in the middle of that rivet. So you wanna be able to start it out slow and feather it up so that it's very controllable. Um, so that's the Pan American, and this is the Sioux. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us, email or phone. Thanks.